Now I knew something that they didn't know. I knew approximately how far out of their comfort zone they were about to get pushed. Listen, we're thinking about quitting our barber career to become professional golfers. It's with the PGA. There is no words to describe everything that just took place over this last week. With that being said, today I'm going to share with you five things that are going to really help you as both a barber, a person, and a presenter when you go on stage for your very first time. When I went on stage for my very first time, I literally just went up there and winged it. I was never critiqued. I was never 100% certain how I did. And in this particular environment where we are merging Stylecraft and Johnny B together, um, two great companies that are both like mom and pops organization. They're not wildly corporate like Andis, Wall, Babelis. These are these are companies that have a very small amount of people that work for them and do an amazing job and continue to thrive despite everything that's put against us. I'm going to describe the story. This is a bit of a vlog and I hope that you guys enjoy this presentation. We are currently in Naples, Florida and we are going to California. So. You awake, Chad? Yeah, I'm awake. I'm awake. I been awake. It's hard for me to fall asleep really when I got something like this going on. Hour and 32 minutes. You got the Red Bull going. I'll be to. awake until we get once, once we get on the airplane, oh, then it's curtain. We head out to California with a five hour delay. Once we got to the airport and we began our shenanigans, I started thinking I'd like to try to push Chad out of his comfort zone first. I tried to get him to cut my hair in the airport. I suggested a whole barrage of stuff that I'm not gonna bring up here that would have just been funny and entertaining to do. The first thing that I did have him do was I had him give me the sponsor plug in the center of the airport with literally hundreds of people walking by. Could he stay focused? Could he stop himself from being nervous? Could he just knock it out? And drop it in the comments right now. Could you? Sound like a motel bed. <laughs> Oh, well, let's see if they have a lavender. <laughs> you got like a two inch neck and it I still that, fits. I'm hoping when I fall asleep that like this, this stops the snoring. What we do when we're bored at the airport, y'all. Just hanging out in the damn center. What that? <laughs> All right, give it a try, Chad. I'm ready. Talk loud. All right, so today's sponsor. Louder. All right, folks, today's sponsor is booked in. Go ahead and get that today. Um, Tell them go to booked in forward slash Eddie. Bookedin.com forward slash Eddie. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Let's try again. That wasn't good enough. Okay. Hey, folks. How you doing today? Today is your lucky day to get booked in, get 50% off your first three months of, you know, your... Um... What's up, you guys? Today, we're flying out to California. We're going to be teaching some other people how to cut hair. So I'm standing here in the airport, and I'm going crazy because the flight is delayed. But the most painless part of this process was scheduling that time to take this time to go to this trip. So you guys can check out bookedin.com forward slash Eddie and redeem your offer for 50% off your first three months. I've been with them for over three years. They're rock no, no, solid. No, no, so check them out, out below. Now I might have even found a neighbor sleeping and accidentally dropped something. What's so funny, Susan? I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. So soon we were flying all the way to California with little to no idea what would await us. Time is moving fast. So our day started at 2 a.m. where we would do our best to make our flight from Fort Lauderdale to L.A. With me are my friends Chad and Susanna. This is a big step for them, and soon you're gonna see why. <laughs> Did you? So the very first thing on this list is going to be introduce yourself properly. Relax, breathe, tell them a little bit about yourself. Tell a story. How did you get into this? Why should they listen to you? 
What are your struggles? What were your difficulties? This is going to help you build some momentum, but this will also help the audience connect with you. Although I'm tempted to tell you what the next one is, let's keep going on the story. Now, initially, when we landed, we were supposed to have four or five hours to just kind of digest, relax, get changed. But with the delay of the flight, we hardly made it to headquarters in time to meet with the group of people. That's what we need to get on. All right, so yeah. would you rather redo this entire morning or crawl through a bed of hot coals? <laughs> or, no, I'd rather just redo the morning, for sure. <laughs> I mean. All right, what about you, Susanna? Do the whole morning again or uh, learn how to pogo stick down a mountain? Oh, how you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> now running on much coffee and little sleep, we finally arrived to the shuttle bus where we were greeted for the first time with all the people we were going to spend the next couple of days with. We over here with the squad. Come on in. Let's go. I need a co-pilot. Wait to Johnny B. I don't know if he's driving the show. Days. Days. Yeah, yeah, about 20 hours. 20 hours to get to this point. We didn't really know each other. People were kind of sticking to the groups that they did know. Have a good dinner. All right. Now this is Socrates, and you will see how this man will move mountains to make better presenters out of all of us. Yes, sir. What up, girl? Missed you. Now initially, me and Socrates, we got off on the wrong foot. Years ago, I almost wanted to leave right away, just fly back to Florida, but now I see this would have been a gigantic mistake as our relationship has grown. The inspiration, gratitude I feel towards him, Nisal, the owner of Johnny B. Alfonso, and the entire Johnny B. organization has become one I truly cherish. And soon, you're going to understand why. Let me show you the inspiration that you can glean from a room full of powerhouse barbers. So for the next one, I'm working with a kid who's starting to get in trouble. And the truth is, I sort of see myself in this kid. He's 15 years old, trying to navigate through high school, and I explained to him that a lot of the people you look up to who are doing the wrong thing are probably going to be losers later on in life. The people who are winners are the people who have money in their pocket, a family that they support, and they're not out doing all of those things. The path that you're on is one of destruction. And I know for a fact that I hit home with this kid and he looked up to me because I was older and I had been there and I had done that. So tip number two, tell a story when you get on stage. As barbers, we have so many client interactions that you're definitely going to have some kind of base knowledge to draw on. And that's gonna help you connect with your audience and it's also gonna help you further build your momentum in your presentation. Now you've been watching this channel so you're no stranger to Stylecraft. But did you know that about half of their employees are actually women? And trust me, when I say they can outwork damn near any man. Now meet Cece. I couldn't even tell you what her actual position is at Stylecraft, but I can say she wears many hats and she's been an integral part of this company's success. We have traveled more times than I can count and I can say she is deeply committed to educating and supporting our barbers. She's quick to correct you when you step out of line and equally is quick to help you when you're in need. Now me personally, I've been inspired by her work ethic as well as the many others in the Stylecraft and Johnny B organization. Now after eating quickly, and getting the group acquainted with one another, we went on a tour of the facility. Almost every product they make is made and bottled in the USA, and they're held to the highest of standards. The ingredients they put in their products are of the highest quality, and if you've never tried them, I would encourage you to get a few samples. So the people on this tour, they're not new to barbering. In fact, many of them have not only been doing hair for over a decade, they've spent much of that time on stages and doing education all over the world. Now quickly, they were split into groups, and tasked to present the following morning. Nervously huddling together, the big personalities in the group began to come out and they became a bit agitated with one another as they strived to map out a plan. Now stop now. The first time I ever worked on stage in front of a large group of people, I was never critiqued, nor was I sure of how well I actually performed. I did have the advantage of being a barber instructor for over 10 years and the experience I gained in that pursuit continues to be one of my greatest strengths. Now there's a big difference between an influencer and an educator. Just because you can execute a good haircut doesn't mean that you're gonna be good at teaching it. In fact, the better you get at anything, the harder it becomes to explain to others. Your show haircut doesn't matter. Nobody comes to the show 
or a class and thinks, I'm so happy Eddie or anybody on stage can cut great hair. I sleep easy at night knowing how well they can do hair. Nope. The model in your chair is not your customer. The people visiting your booth or your class, they are your customers. Now, even if you don't have time to finish that masterpiece haircut that you're working on in front of all those people, the people will have a much better time and they'll be impacted much more when you cater to them. After the first presentations, we critique the presenters. Both me, Nisal, Cece, and Socrates all knew that they left a lot on the table. So as the days went on and the critiques were given, they started to actually mentor one another. They started to actually function as a team. I couldn't even begin to tell you the amount of camaraderie and kinship that started to develop. One that really stands out to me was our guy Tommy here. Now Tommy has been all around the world and he's been doing this for a long time. And Susanna is relatively new to presenting on stages and as I told you, this is a very intimidating environment. Without anybody asking, Tommy put his arm around Susanna and he began to mentor her. And they developed a relationship that I think is gonna last a lifetime. In less than 24 hours, a bond through the hardship started to form. When we went out to dinner and we spent some time bonding later that night, the rooftop bar, the perch was a great setting for us to talk and be honest about where we needed to get better. And to my surprise, I found out many of them play golf. So we hatched a crazy late night plan to hit a golf course at 6 a.m. the following morning before their presentations. So the next one here is to make sure you know your products. Take some time to build some knowledge around what you are presenting on. Make sure that you know what clipper you pick up does what. Make sure you know what product you pick up does what. And if you don't know the answer, I actually learned this one from Tommy. I was testing him during his presentation and I asked him a couple of questions about the clippers he wasn't super sure on. But you know what he did? He said, you know what, rather than try to tell you that, I don't know the exact answer, but I promise if you meet me here at the booth afterwards, I'm going to find somebody who does and we'll get you that information. It's okay not to know things. So don't just fill the air with garbage. Make sure that you cater towards your people who are watching. Oh, check it out. Sako made it. Sako does play golf and we are here. You haven't seen me yet. <laughs> You know, we're supposed to be working right now, but we ain't. <laughs> Light work only. Yeah. On a beautiful Thursday morning. I don't know if y'all can tell how steep this damn hill is. Nice. And our ever-present team leader, Socrates, continued to build us up and inspire us, showing us a variety of tools that can help you on stage. We got back to headquarters for the final presentation. And I'm not going to show you everything, but I can say this. Through the process of team building and mentoring, the improvements that were made presenting were immeasurable. We, the facilitators, found ourselves proud and inspired by each and every one of you. As for the last one, make sure that you interact with the audience. They should receive the highest level of priority. You can always ask them, what's your go-to setup? What's your favorite blades? Do you guys know the difference between these motors? And there's definitely going to be somebody in the audience who has some questions that they're afraid to ask. Just like being the presenter on stage, a lot of people in the audience, they're not comfortable with talking in front of a lot of people. So it's very important that you tell them when you get out of the booth, when you say, listen, I'm gonna be here from one to 2 p.m. Right after 2 p.m., if there's anybody in the audience right now that had a question that maybe they didn't wanna ask here, I just wanna let you know, my name is Eddie. I'm gonna be sitting over here at the booth. Feel free to come on, check out some of these machines, come talk to me. If you're struggling with anything, I'd be glad to help you here. Like, just give me some of your thoughts on what this week was like for you. Excellent, so I really didn't know what to expect, you know, two evolutionary brands, Johnny B and Stylecraft coming together. Uh, so I was just a, a blank canvas. I was hoping to come here and get some information on uh, Stylecraft and just get briefed again on Johnny B. And that's exactly what it was. Uh, both companies, extremely authentic, have down to earth professionals that uh, trust and respect the brands. So at the end of the, the event, that's what we, we have. We've built relationships and we've been able to uh, grow individually and professionally. Uh, so he's he's being pretty modest too. Like this guy really knocked his last presentation out of the park. Like this was pretty heavy on presentations, getting in, getting in front of like a really talented core of yeah. people and everybody in here is kind of just trying their best to do the best they can. Uh, what was that like for you? Like how do you feel as a presenter coming in and, and now leaving? 
Well, just like you said, you know, the, the standard continues to get raised, you know. You surround yourself by motivated, strong individuals and that's what's going to continue to happen is you're all going to be more inspired and become more stronger as a, as a unit. And so that's, that's what we've done. I'm looking forward to taking all of this information uh, on the road with us to represent both brands and back at the shop. Definitely learned a lot of the things that I didn't know and how to make my job easier, not just behind the chair, but as an educator and as a presenter now for both Johnny B and Stylecraft. So to me, I feel like I've grown. I learned a lot about the different blades, the clippers and the motors, the blow dryer, which I was like, I didn't even know you guys had that many blow dryers. So to me, it just like blew it out of the water. I had certain expectations, but I feel like this course itself completely exceeded those expectations and I feel very confident that I'm able to go back to not just my salon but my next class and implement everything that I learned from everybody here who's now the Johnny Craft family. Yeah, for real. Now, when she got here, she's being a little modest, but when she got here, she was actually a really gifted presenter, like right off the rip. But I even seen like a nice improvement coming into that last presentation. I felt like you really shut it down. You were really good at hitting all your points. You were fun to listen to. I was engaged and you know, I look forward to seeing you again at these other shows. And I appreciate you and it was great meeting. Actually, give me a hug, come on. <laughs> Okay, I'm here with my guy, Johnny. Uh, honestly, bro, you gotta be one of the most entertaining and fun to be around um, people. This guy had us laughing the whole time, but just share some of your thoughts and your experience. This has been kind of like a long week in one way, but like it went by in like a blink of an eye. So like coming in and leaving, like what are your thoughts of this whole situation? Uh, I think it's gonna kind of turn out pretty good. Um, just how we're gonna collab together and make things work. Um, I think we, handle each other well, we piggybacked off each other, so it's gonna help us benefit with um, the use of clippers, you know? Now we got details of why we use clippers and just... This guy won like almost every one of the battles that he entered here. So like, if there's any advice you could give somebody when they're going up presenting for their first time? Yeah, um, just be confident in yourself and just know that you know your stuff. Don't overthink it because once you start overthinking, you catch yourself tripping up and that's what we make a lot of flaws in. All right, I'm standing over here with my friend, Patrick Paul, uh, made quite an impression on us here today. I mean, it was a phenomenal week, man. Just getting in here, getting immersed in both Stylecraft and Johnny B, learning so much about Stylecraft that we didn't even know, like had, had no idea about just the different variations and blades and motors and just all the different things that they have to offer. Uh, it was a definite priceless, you know, you couldn't put a monetary number on what we learned this week. It was that dope, like that that dope. And then the camaraderie, the people that you got to meet, the the different connections, networking and otherwise, and just relationships that you probably gonna have for a very long time. It was a dope week, for sure. Yeah, for sure, man. I, I learned so much from all you guys, man. I was very impressed with you. This guy was the winner. He's being modest, um, but I don't know how you showed up after all of the drinking and whatnot we did last <laughs> night, and you showed up and you put it down. Hey, I mean, yeah, I appreciate it. he showed us how a presentation should be and what it should look like to merge two brands together, and we're kind of figuring this out as we go, man. So I really thank you, man, and I cherish Love. this friendship, man. Love, for sure. Connection for is sure, there. Man. Thank you, brother. Eddie. My guy, thank man. You, my nice meeting you, bro. Same like travels, all right? All right, man. I'm here with my boy, Jay. Jay is a good YouTuber, man. He's got a lot of followers, and we're going to figure out where to find him, but like, we, we came here and this this went by like this. Can you walk me through what it was like, like from your first presentation to like your last presentation? And like, you know, what, what are you taking away from this experience? Definitely, man. It was uh, it was very interesting because even though I'm used to kind of the a little bit of the spotlight when it comes to performing on stage, it felt like I was in a complete different environment, which I was. And for that reason, it made me a little bit nervous. Day one, day two was a little bit challenging as well. Once we got to dinner, we got to meet each other a little bit better and see our our um, outside personas rather than on the professional side. It really makes you click and be like, you know what, I shouldn't be nervous for anything. And, and the third performance was pretty simple. You know, it was very uh, normal. It was very easy going. And I think the the reality is you just got to kind of trust what you what you do and, and really enjoy what you do because at the end of the day that's what we're here yeah. and uh, I always say trust the process and that's exactly what we did normally you get up in front of crowds of people who really don't know about cutting hair to come in to like see you but like in this situation you were up in front of a lot of other people who have made their living you were in front of like a really talented group of people and I feel like it rubbed up it rubbed off on me and everybody else there is leaving with some 
some real value. I seen him. He's being modest. He shut his shit down. The last presentation, the last presentation, you did such a good job, man. You came up there confident. Um, I was engaged. The stories, like every, everything that you did was just, you know, something I was, I was really happy to see that. And you came in, you know, it was a strong presentation for sure. Thank so I appreciate you, brother. I t- appreciate meeting you, man. Nice guys, brother. Yep. Now, if you haven't figured it out, the two great companies collaborating are Johnny B and Stylecraft. And we have just created our first dual certified educators that will be hitting the show circuit this season. If you would like to sign up to one of these classes, drop a comment below and soon I'll post a video letting you know when and where and what cities these events will be held. So I hope that these five things really help inspire you to become a better presenter and give you some courage when you get back to the shop. I want you to feel pumped up. Thank you so much to Stylecraft. Thank you so much to Johnny B for allowing me to be a part of this. And there is just so much that I gained from this experience that it really is immeasurable. And I don't think there's words to describe what took place there. All I can say is if you find yourself in a position where you feel like you might want to educate, where you feel like you might want to be a part of something like this, please drop a comment down below. You can reach out to Stylecraft or you can reach out to Johnny B and we'll see what we can do because this was the pilot group, man. These are the group of guys that are going out there first. And soon we're going to build this team out to be a lot bigger than it is. With that being said, I just want to thank Socrates. First and foremost, you are one hell of a leader. You're a gifted talker, a gifted presenter, and you've inspired me at every single turn. Secondly, I'd like to thank Nisal. She's the one working behind the scenes. She's like CC's counterpart and she does all that stuff for Johnny B. How you put this together in such short notice, um, I, I don't know. I can't believe it. And really, everybody else at the Johnny B organization, you guys are top class. And I'd really like to thank Cece because equally on the other side, the Stylecraft side, she did a lot of work in behind the scenes to get everything just right. And I appreciate all of you for watching and all of you who participated in our newly formed education team. Drop a comment down below if you guys learned something, if you feel inspired. My great hope is after watching this video, You get some courage, you get some fire, you get burning to get behind that chair and you get back behind that chair and you start working as hard as you can and dedicate yourself to this. This is the best business in the world where you'll meet the most people, the most connections. And at the end of the day, I couldn't be more happy to be where I am right here and right now. This is the YouTube Barber Academy. Hope you're feeling inspired. 700 videos to help you learn and I will catch you in my next video.